Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you guys what I did to prep my hair to get this final hair color and I'll insert a picture now. So if you guys are interested to see what I did to prep my hair to get the final hair color, just keep watching. And I'll come back at the end of the video to let you guys know of the final hair color I used because I don't want to spoil it yet. So I'm gonna show it at the end to let you guys know what color it was. Cause some people always come up to me like, oh, that hair color is this and I'm like, no, it's not. So people really don't know what color it is, but I will talk about it at the end. I did do a review on this hair actually and if you didn't watch it already you can just go and check it out. I'll leave in a link below so you guys can just find that video quicker. So thanks for watching and continue to watch if you want to see how I got this really beautiful purpley color. So yeah. So this is the base colors that I'm using. I've never used this one before, but I've used this one many times in the past. So as you can see, I'll be pouring it into the bowl and then eventually mixing the both colors together, but I tend to use more of the dark purple and add a little less of the pinkish burgundy-ish kind of color. So now I'll basically be applying it to my hair and just gonna leave it in to soak for a little while. Normally, I don't leave it in for this long, but since I really wanted it to take the color, that's what I did. And then after I left it in, I'm gonna be washing it out. I rinsed it first, then I added the shampoo, and then eventually I would straighten it and style it. So it's really hard to finally get a perfect picture to show what color it turned out, but it was like a wineish, purplish color in the light, natural lighting. And with the light on, it literally just looked like a brunette with a tint of red. Okay, so I'm back. So after watching that, you guys kind of got an idea of what I did to prep my hair. So now when I wanted to get the final hair color, which I have in right now, all I did was wash the hair and then I blow dried it, air, let it air dry and whatnot. And then I applied the hair color. So the final color that I used in my hair was Violet Gem. And after I let the color stain for about an hour or so, I did add some heat just to process it a little faster because it's a lot of kind of tight schedule. So after doing all that, I styled it, added my favorite product, and here it is today. So far, it's been, let's see, I colored it on the weekend. So let's see, It's I had it in for about maybe five days so far, or a little less, and it hasn't faded yet. Eventually it might fade and whatnot, but if it does start to fade, I most likely will recolor it. Thanks for watching, I hope that was informational. I hope to help you guys just to see how I got the color. And um, I hope you guys do stay tuned to see my next video with all my hair products that I use to keep my hair lasting long and soft and not get all those split ends. And I also want to give you guys a big thank you for helping me reach 100 plus subscribers. And it's only been a little while. Like I just started posting videos in April. So it's been over a month and a little bit, almost two months. And I didn't expect to get 100 subscribers. You know, it's not that much. But I'm still really thankful for all the support and whatnot. So thank you so much. And I'm so happy that in such a little time, my channel has so far done pretty good and whatnot. If ever you guys want to see any specific type of video, whether it's one of more natural hair videos, I can definitely do that. And that's basically it. So thanks for watching and take care.